Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? Hope we all had a very safe and productive couple of weeks. Um, first, I, I'd like to thank everybody that um, commented and sent me emails um, wishing um, well um, for that hurricane we were supposed to have. And I've had rainstorms worse than what we got. So, you know, thank God it passed us. Uh, spent hours, you know, lifting the shop and putting the shop back together. But, you know, thank God um, it missed us. But, you know, the Bahamas and parts of the Carolina got pretty hit hard. So, you know, hope all is well there. All right. Um, today, I want to give pretty much a very good review on this cordless compound miter saw. It's the Walt DCS 361. It is uh, the 20 volt max handles the 60 volt battery. It was something that I purchased. All right, let, let me give you a brief little background quick before we go through it. I was looking to pick up um, a cordless uh, chop saw. Mostly for the business to chop PVC pipe when we do large jobs. Inch and a half, two inch, three inch, not even a, a, a ten inch would do four inch pipe, which we use maybe three or four pieces at the most. But I wanted something that we could use, bring up, either put it on that, that hydraulic stand that I had or have, or the table, the, the wall table. And then, you know, we always go to the left with our pipe, even when we do it on a table or on saw horses. So I was doing research for, for months, looking for one, and I was going to pick up the Milwaukee. But, you know, it's like, what was it, like $600 to, or $800, depending if you get a tool only or two batteries and a charger. And with all the batteries that I have, I was looking for something tool only. So um, my wife was leaving for uh, New York for our niece's sh uh, bridal shower and I still had one room left the master bedroom to put hardwood floor down I bought a whole bunch of floor from a contractor friend of mine that was left over I did bedrooms I did the hallway I did the staircase I hurt my knee and this stuff has been sitting under the bed for almost two years before she she left she asked if with my guidance if I can help her and my son Michael put the floor down I chuckled because every time my wife leaves to go somewhere, whether it's, uh, you know, at a state for something or with her aunt, I surprise her with something. Last time it was a bathroom. In New York, I redid the bedroom. And this time I was given her the wood floor. So I figured between me, my, help, my worker, and Michael, we can get that floor down. So we started it on a Friday, got pretty much all the floor down, you know, just the long pieces. But there was no way. Second floor slapping down to the, to the capex and to the table saw when I have a DeWalt portable table saw, uh, no, there was no way. Well, check out my Instagram. I did not video it because I, th I only had from Friday late in the afternoon till Monday in the afternoon, but I had a job on Monday, so I couldn't even work Monday during the day, so I only had two days to do the floor. So I didn't video it, but check out my Instagram. My thing will be below on the photos. I used the, the Festool workstation. Wow. <laughs> the thing is unbelievable. We brought it upstairs, set it up in the hallway, then set it up in the room for doing everything. So Friday night, I was sitting around and I was doing some research on the internet to see about purchasing a saw. Well, I finally located one saw in a Lowe's um, in St. Augustine and I decided to purchase this. Now, why did I purchase it? It posed to the 10 inch. For one, the size of it, how light it is and it could be set up anywhere to cut because it's basically going to be used just from my shop well I and this is no baloney this is the battery that I've been using here now I have batteries on the truck this has been sitting on the truck I we've used it on like almost two well, it was one and a half jobs one full house and a half a house I have batteries but look and I'm gonna look at that fully charged still and I cut about 40 pieces of floor and a 
probably 10, 12 pieces, 45s, compounds for the quarter round. And it cut flawlessly. Now when I did the original floor, I picked up a Ryobi 18 volt. And I might have gotten two cuts out of this thing and the battery was dead. So let me go over this thing and it is a phenomenal saw. Now, um, again, it's seven and a quarter inch. It's a compound slide miter. It only, better this way. It only goes to the left 45 degrees. Locks back to center zero. It comes with, I bought tool only, comes with the saw. It comes with the dust bag, which I happen to have left at the shop. Let's get this out of the way. It comes with a lockdown, but the lockdown, if you notice, has a flat part and then rounded. It goes in backwards and then locks in all the way until you go back to the rear of the saw and you can take it out. Both sides. Both sides. Does both sides. <clears throat> it has locks. It, it will self-indent 45, 31. 22 and a half, 15, back to zero, and then it'll go to the left. To lock the saw and transport it, lock tab, bring it over to the 45, lock it down, and now the saw could be carried like this. Weighs 35 pounds without the battery. So that is probably the main reason that I bought the saw, is because of the size, how light it is. It works off the 60 volt max battery system. I can set this up on the table, the DeWalt table, because you can clamp it down through the dog holes, or you could put it onto the DeWalt stand or that hydraulic stand that I have that I used to have the Capex on. So, power. Let's show you what this saw does. Battery locks is a single battery. It has a safety flap on the trigger and then and then the trigger activate, activates. All right. Piece of ply. I'm not going to go with uh, I'm just going to actually put this back on just so I don't shoot dust. It has a bag, fits inside, it's got the zipper on it, I uh, left it on my truck. So, piece of plywood. Comes with a 24 tooth carbide general purpose blade. I purchased a 5 8 arbor. I purchased a 7 and quarter 40 tooth CMT carbide blade for when I'm going to be just then leaving it on the truck for PVC. Uh, two by four. I mean, you ain't gonna be cutting a house with this, but good enough for very, I mean, it cut the floor perfectly. And you know, that's that engineered floor. It's, they, they do bog down motors. I mean, it did, it bogged a little bit, but it did the entire pieces of floor that I needed. Now, the PVC pipe. The inch and a half to two inch works fine. With this, we do have to roll it, but it doesn't matter. Even if I have a 21 foot length, I have a, I have a rolling sawhorse, uh, rolling pipe stand. So basically, all I got to do with this is drop it. And it is much straighter. There's just a little, you know, just a little bit of a deviation right there. Not, doesn't matter for us. 
there's a lot of deviation when you're doing it with a, a sawzall. So uh, it's just it's a home run for us. All right, now there is a little bit of a there's a little confusion, especially in the manual, um, about changing the blade, and we're going to go over that right now. First thing, remove battery. So there's nothing. I'm going to take this off. lock in so this thing doesn't move now let's let me just zoom in so you could see all right it has an onboard it has an onboard cape one side's a star one side's an allen the allen is for the blade the star is for the two screws that hold this blade guard. And then it's also for the fence. It's also for the miter. Okay? And it's also for the indicator. Oh, and it's also for the uh, compound miter. So you can just get it to zero and you can lock in the degree. Everything else you need um, a regular number five star bit. So, with this, you want to loosen these two. We'll leave that one off. But this one, I got to get around this side. This screw is then designed to hold this up. So you're going to unscrew this. You see, you got to get to that bolt. But you gotta lift this up. And you gotta hold this up. And you don't you're not taking this apart. You loosen this screw enough. You gotta kinda have two, three hands here a minute. But you loosen this up enough here that now that's being held up. Can we see it? Let me get in a little bit more. So now this screw here is holding this up. And then you just push that right up and, and it stops right there. And now you have, you have access to the, the nut. It has a blade lock right here. And to you, let me see, yep, release the blade lock. Now you have your inner collet, you have your outer collet and your inner collet. Your outer collet, your inner collet has A recess and your actually yeah, yeah your outer collet and your inner collet has a bevel all right then let's just get the other new blade so then you put your That, I'm going to put this blade back on because it's what I'm going to use for now. And then your screw. See? You don't even have to touch nothing.
lock it. Right, let me get the camera down and I'll show you up close what I mean in case it's not that clear. You see that screw right there? That's holding this up. See? So you're just going to unscrew that enough that it holds it up but you're not removing it. And then that screw there, you're just going to loosen that enough to make this thing move down, back down. Uh, let's hold on. This thing is too big. Uh, I'll get it. Let me get the camera back so I don't drop this camera. And then there's your blade lock, right there. Okay. Get this back on here. Let's get the zoom back in. There we go. All right. Now I gotta just drop this back down. See, that's it. Drops right back down all the way. All right, there's a lip there that catches the screw. Then you wanna, once that back piece is down all the way, screw this one back in. And then screw this one back in. There we go. It's got to go down a little more. Here's the 20 volt max batteries. Let's do this quick. Shooting sawdust. Really good saw. I mean, with the 20 volt max, I mean, excuse me, the 60 volt max battery, we have had an absolutely no problem cutting any type of material, any type of PVC. And then I just leave this clamp right here. Just clamp this right down. And then I can bring it wherever. So, all right. Um, also, I got a real good deal on this thing. I had a gift certificate and a 20% off coupon. So it's 229, two lonely. I ended up getting it for like 170 plus tax. So the uh, price I couldn't, I couldn't beat. Um, but yeah, I mean, just with the PVC, I got to roll it, but that's no big deal. Uh, maybe we do 10, 15, three inch, but we do a ton of two inch and a ton of inch and a half, which it cuts it perfectly. Um, fits nicely on our truck, very easy to transport, very light, uh, cleans up real good. I'm gonna do a zero clearance, that's, that's um, fast cap tape. I'll do a little zero clearance in there. And the beauty about it is, is that we can cut the PVC, then we can cut wood for, for, for hangers, 
for, for the hang the shower bodies. We can do a lot of stuff now with it. We don't even need to have that circular saw. I mean, well, we still do, but because I'm not leaving it on the truck. But, um, all right. Um, oh, let me get something a minute. All right, I'm about 1,850 away from 10,000 subscribers. Again, thank you very, 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 very much. All righty, this here is the MTR18 from TSO Products. Very nice triangle. It's meant to be used on the MFT table to cut angles. Removable stop here. I use it basically as a massive triangle. You can get the, I have the accessories for it, but I like it as a, a, a huge triangle. Four my 10,000 subscriber giveaway will be this not this one not mine I have one I have another one I bought two I have two of them and it's in a box so um, that will be my uh, my giveaway for um, my 10,000 uh, subscriber uh, I like it I use it all the time when especially when I do um, when I did the desk, I did the dresser, I did the table, um, I'm going to be doing a vanity, that's going to be pretty much my next video is a, is a vanity, not a bathroom vanity, a makeup vanity for my, my, my editor, my daughter Judy. Um, I did a, um, uh, make a mirror with the lights around it, one of those studio mirrors. I did a mirror for her which we hung on the wall and she just had a basic table. Now she asked for a vanity, two legs, top, and a couple of drawers, and then I'm going to mount the, the mirror on that. So I'll be using this to square up the ends. So um, besides the the, uh, the 16 um, and the PE, um, I use this probably the second most. Um, it's very good. So I figured um, that's my giveaway for um, my 10,000 subscriber. Again, I like to thank everybody for all of the comments all of the subscribes, all of the likes, um, I greatly appreciate it. And I'll be, you know, trudging on more videos. Alrighty, okay YouTube, you all be safe out there and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye now.